Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to a Pandora video. So today I am very excited to share with you the 2023 Christmas ornament. So Pandora does an ornament pretty much every year. Sometimes they do exclusives like through Jared. They had some really cute ones, including a reindeer I don't have. And um, they've had some with the rock cats. They've had some in different countries that are different. Last year, for example, they had a really cute little reindeer. Why don't we ever get reindeer? In the UK with a little red button nose and gold antlers. Now, a lot of times if you're in Pandora Facebook groups, you can find um, friends who will more than happily help you get these ornaments when they're in different places or they're exclusives that you may not be able to get. Um, but that is a whole other topic for a whole other video. Today, we are going over the 2023 ornament, which is a mouse in a stocking, which I don't know if you know, but that's one of my favorite things. My mom literally has an entire Christmas tree of mice in like thimbles and stockings and different things. It's I don't know why, something she really likes. And so I grew up with it. And so I just think it's the cutest thing. They came out with the little mouse in a stocking charm last year and I was obsessed with it. So when I saw that this ornament this year in the US was available as a mouse in a stocking, I knew I had to have it, but obviously I do collect them. And as long as they're available in the US, I do try to get them. I put all of my porcelain ones on this little tree I really like A, that it displays them nicely, and B, that it's kind of safe. I put it up on my dresser usually. I'm thinking about leaving it in my office this year because I kind of want to look at it all the time. But um, regardless, this way I feel is a lot safer than putting them on my real tree just because I have six dogs and I don't want any of these to break. This is very, very sturdy and keeps them safe. So I've left a spot right up front for our brand new ornament. Let's go ahead and unbox it and give you guys a close up. It is a gift set. They typically are nowadays. So the ornament is $30. The charm that comes with it is 60, 65. I asked the girl at the store and she said 60, but the gift set is 95. And unfortunately, like with most of their ornament gift sets, they're not available separately you cannot just buy the ornament for 30. I like the charm just fine but I don't do a lot of red so if I could have just bought the ornament that would have been perfect. It was not an option. So if you want to get this you either need to buy both pieces and then you just have a charm. You can always gift it to someone if you really don't like it or maybe find a friend who wants the ornament and you want the charm or vice versa. Either way, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring you guys in close and give you a close up look at unboxing this baby. All right, so here's our box. It does come in a protective sleeve. I did already look at this in the store. Like with most of these kind of items, even though you do wanna save that unboxing sometimes for the camera, um, when you're buying it in a store, I always want to inspect them, make sure that you're not getting one that's broken or defective. And I've never found one like that, but you know, $95 y'all. So this mouse needs to be perfect. And he is, oh, he's so cute. Even with the red, <sighs> even with the red. Now here's the little charm. So we will, we will get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and just do the mouse. He does have a red ribbon. Most of the ribbons, I think all the ribbons, uh, say Pandora on them. So that's always fun. This is the only red one of all the ornaments I have, but there is a burgundy and there is a blue. I try to focus mostly on porcelain ornaments because I just really like those. Look at the texture on that stocking and the little mouse face. I love how he's just peeking over and the little black button nose. Even the candy cane is adorable. And while I prefer, like I said, no red, you know, it wouldn't have made sense to not do the red on the candy cane. It just wouldn't have. I do, I do wish the stocking was all white on the bottom, but it is cute. I mean, the, the details they did in the red 
are very minuscule and they're very sweet details. So I'm not mad about it. I think they did a really good job of picking. As always, it says Pandora and the year on the bottom. Sometimes it's on the back, but it will always say all those details, you guys. How sweet is this guy? Oh my God, okay, I cannot wait to put him on my little ornament tree. Now, a lot of the ornaments that have these little bags, like Santa, um, the little bags are attached. And of course for Santa, that makes sense. When the, she first showed me this guy at the store, the bag was actually hanging from the candy cane. And while you could leave that, um, I don't think it's necessarily meant to be left. I think it was just a packing thing. So I'm taking it off. It's a very nice bag though. And here's the charm. So it is a candy cane charm. Too bad it's not the mouse charm or a slightly different mouse charm. Even if they had done the exact same mouse charm from last year, but in this white and red uh, color scheme, that would have been different and cute. Let me grab a I'll grab a rod to put this guy on, but look at that. So it's the two candy canes and a heart. It says sweetheart on it. This charm is not exclusive to the ornament. So if you want this charm and you don't want the ornament, you don't have a friend to split it with, you can purchase this charm by itself. Which is kind of a jet for us girlies who only want the ornament, but you know. There we go. 9.25 A-L-E, baby. And the back says, what's it say? Candy cane wishes, mistletoe kisses. It is a very sweet charm. I like that it's a heart. I like that it's candy canes. I do have my Christmas bracelet out, so I'm gonna see if there's a spot for it on there or if it's something I wanna to gift to my mom. I'm just not 100% sure that, um, that I don't know, that it's a, a daughter to mother kind of gift. <laughs> you know? y'all so while there's lots of ways to hang an ornament I like I said really like to make sure they're secure and so instead of hanging them on an ornament hook I hang them by the ribbons on my ornament tree obviously that's going to differ if you are hanging them on a tree tree but for me this tree, I find that this is just the easiest way to do it. Now, for everyone who's gonna ask, because I know everyone will, because I've shared this, this tree before and everyone's first question is always, where did you get that tree? Uh, my mom got it for me on Facebook Marketplace. So no, I do not have an exact link for it. There are a lot of similar ornament trees and I will link the most similar ones I have found on uh, the description box down below. But a little uh, secret, it's not really a secret, I tell everyone, a little trick, a tip, a hint. This uh, ornament tree was not rose gold when I bought, my mom gave it to me. She gave it to me for Christmas, actually. Uh, it was black. And I spray painted it rose gold. She got it from Facebook Marketplace, so it had been pre-loved. I do love it. I use it for all kinds of things. I use it for Pandora in the winter. I put fun spring things on it for uh, tablescape 
centerpieces on my spring table, but I definitely like it better rose gold than the scuffed up black it was before. So just because you can't find the exact rose gold match, doesn't mean you can't have a rose gold ornament tree. There we go. Look how cute he is. I think he might be my favorite ornament yet. It's hard to say. I really like the Santa. I really like the snowflake and I really like the stocking. That's why they're up front. Um, but I just, I love that mouse enough that I got him, even though he's red. Now my rose gold ornament that I have, I think that was two years ago and my little pink and blue one here, um, that was three years ago. They both go on my normal tree. First of all, they're metal and plastic, not porcelain. And second of all, I just, I really like the look of this all porcelain. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a closer look at all of the ornaments that I do have, uh, including the mouse on the tree. Don't worry. And if, you have any ornaments that you like to collect, especially the Pandora, comment down below how you display them, what maybe you do with your Pandora ornaments. I'd really like to see your collections. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and unbox in a second video, the Christmas charm I bought for myself this year, which is the opalescent snowman. And I'll be putting that and the little candy cane heart on my bracelet for the Christmas season. I want to try wearing both of them at least for a little while. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna give my mom that heart or not. I think I might wear the bracelet around mom. And if she's like, oh my God, I love that heart, then obviously it can be hers. If she's like, oh, that's not my favorite, then I will keep it, right? That's a good plan. So let's go ahead and get into the ornaments and I will see y'all in the next couple days when that opalescent snowman charm video comes out. Bye y'all. is another snowflake from, I don't remember, last year, two years ago with blue in the middle, navy blue. I don't have, and I'm still searching for the snowflake and the original Jared reindeer that goes for hundred plus dollars. The last two I'm really still hunting for. But you know, much as I love this little tree. Hello, beautiful. I definitely do not want to ever fill it up. I feel like that will happen eventually. If you do collect ornaments, let me know. Is 2011 the first uh, porcelain one they made? Because I've never seen one from before that. But that is before I started collecting and I had to go back and get some of these from sellers in the Facebook group. Love this little sleigh. How cute is that? Oh, on the front. He is held on in the back by an ornament hook so that he hangs at an angle and not straight up and down because otherwise he would be vertical. And he's just so cute going, slaying down that swoop. I always like to put these two at the top because they are the, the tiniest. And then last but not least, we have our present box. I hate that I have to put some on the back, but you know. A, I'm getting too many, and B, if I keep this guy in the office, he can be 
enjoyed all the way around. Bye, y'all.